Hi people, how are you doing? Welcome to episode 12. I've been rather busy wasting all those lost fragments of lost knowledge and I found three easy theories. The pickaxe of the core, by the way, is one of the good ones because it will let you go and find crystals. So, you can see, I got a discovery! Yay! Essentially, you see... There are th uh, three layers of research. First, we get the, the fragments. Then, we need to investigate those fragments. And that's uh, why I, I used my bookshelves. And uh, once we do, we find theories. Now, we need to research the theories five times. There's a 6% chance of failure, that means there's a 6% chance I will lose one of these progress bars. If I lose my... when I don't have any, I will have failed the research. Anyway, I have uh, some stuff that I want to show you, and the discoveries are the least of it. F uh, first, the chance the charm of cleansing. Uh, okay. It's a simple charm that uh, is not as useful as an equivalent exchange one. And it can be crafted in the regular system down the downstairs. The pickaxe of the core. Oh dear. Oh, we require a, thani a thaumium pickaxe. So, we might have a problem because I don't know how to craft one of those. But, oh well. Crucible of the Eyes. Hmm. Perfect. But if we check now our Thaumonomicon, we can see we have the discoveries listed in here. They are all from lost knowledge. I don't have anyone for forbidden tainted of Eldritch knowledge. And we can storage them in here. However, I am going to place them there, so because I already used them. And now I'm going to research these uh, three fragments. Well, first let's place the bookshelves. And now the fragments. We have a 36% chance of success, ODR, and a 90% chance of loss. Ah, we failed. And with the forbidden knowledge, we are failing. And, way once of bone. This one summons on the skeleton. I already saw it in uh, Diablo's 20s Let's Play, so... I'm not really interested. However, I am interested in zombie brain. I only have 34% chance of uh, success and 75% chance of loss. <coughs> but I'd be delighted to be lucky. Yay! Fragment of forbidden knowledge. Oh, oh well. We can let them uh, research themselves while we check uh, something else. Mm, distorted skulls, for example. Ones of bones. And this is a moderate difficult uh, recipe. You might notice there are several versions of the different um, theories. Ones are harder than others. Anyway, this being said, uh, I believe it is time for us to start working on more serious stuff. In my case, that means grab myself some Nicolite and some Redstone and go upstairs and see how the, uh, the things I left in here are cooking up. Perfect! Silicon Bowl. Silicon Bowl is something we craft placing sand and uh, coal inside the alloy furnace, be it a normal one or a blue electric one. And now we need a diamond hand saw. Not, not any other hand saw will serve. Or oh, you can craft silicon wafers. Perfect. Now the silicon wafers can be used by themselves, I believe, but they are essentially used with uh, redstone or nicolite to produce red dope wafers or blue dope wafers. Blue dope wafers 
react to sunlight like those solar panels in there while the red ones are used for fabrication of more esoteric machines from red power yes you are imagining th things right I am going to craft myself the <coughs> welcome home uh, system place your items in there and let them be sorted by themselves oh dear Okay, like 9 should be more than enough. Perfect. And let's cook uh, Let's cook the other with Nicolite. Yeah, we're going to need like uh, 64. Oh, uh -huh. it requires 4 Nicolite. Not to worry. Anyway, if we hit U, we see we can use the, these ones to craft silicon chips, boost on savers, an 8K RAM module, the monitor, so it's essentially a control system. However, we also used it for the filter, the item detector, the sorting machine, the assembler, the regulator, I don't know this one, I can't remember, and the relay. The relay is like a middle point to, t to tie different systems together. If you have any kinds of trouble hooking whatever into into your redstone system you can use a, a relay and make sure it will work <coughs> okay did we got anything yes some fragments of forbidden knowledge anyway you need to be really ready to let things be destroyed. Oh, and silicon wafers by themselves are not used in anything in the end. Anyway, I am going to need to craft myself at least two, uh, no, one filter. And with that filter, I am going to need to craft myself a retriever. Oh dear. So we are going to need at least, uh, well, gold, cobblestone, and pistons. See, that's why I crafted so many pistons before. Hard to have some. Yeah, I have some trouble with all this. Uh... Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I have some trouble with all the items I. I burned f before, but uh, well, what can I do? Okay, and gold, of course. Sorry, I forgot about that one. You can see I have a lot of coal dust. And uh, yes, the sand, of course. Why did I have some sand in here? Well, I crafted myself the rolling machine. And I now require uh, to craft to make myself a coke oven. The coke oven is uh, crafted like this. You need four bricks and five sand, and they act like uh, regular uh, bricks. But you need to place them in an empty pattern. You need to make a three by three block, but which is uh, with with a hollow core because in the center it will burn slowly the coal into coke okay uh, let's let me see if I remember right oh where did I place the pistons with everything else that is uh, essentially mechanic in here perfect How's this, by the way? Oh, and if you research more theories than nine, don't worry, they will be just dropped out of the quasitum. Mm, so, Dark Infuser, this is uh, a good one. Once of Bone, unnecessary, once of Bone, unnecessary, once of Bone, once of Bone, Dark Infuser, trivial! Yes, perfect! Once of Bone, Dark Infuser, Dark Infuser. So, I am going to get myself all the Dark Infuser theories. Yeah. And I am trying to do some nasty trick. So, let me see. Moderate. Moderate. 
trivial. Ta-da! 80% chance of success. Discovery, Dark Infuser. This wave is uh, another version of our system. It's the normal, like the normal infuser, but it requires both taint and uh, beast to craft the items. Uh, of course, it creates different items. It's good because we are going to use it a lot. Anyway, <coughs> mm, I believe it was like this, like this, and we need now. Yeah, perfect. Let's make four because no. We're going to need a little more than that now that I think about it. Eight. Nine. Nine should be good. Oh well. Five? Of course. Two goals per item. Sorry. Anyway, we now have five uh, of these filters. And if I remember right, here's my leather. I got myself a lot of leather. Was it uh, discovered already? Nope. Be sure you check things. I'm going to need iron and blue electric uh, stuff. Mm, that means silver. I have lots of silver, some extra blue doped wafers, iron. Let's return this in here. Let's place the rest on in there. And let's go upstairs with some nicolite. <coughs> Because you know, this is one of the critical items in Blue Tree City. We need to turn silver with Nicolite into blue alloy ingots, and you require 4 Nicolite per silver bar. <coughs> and uh, I was going to craft myself a retriever, wasn't I? Need brass and ender pearls. So ender pearls should be in here with yes, all the other items I drop uh, that drop for mobs, and brass should be in here. Perfect. And the filter, and there was this, this, and this. Uh, nope. What else was it on the top? Or I am mixing two different recipes. Yes, I am. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> and there was like iron on top? No. See, I am completely useless with this. Oh, the brass. The brass goes in the top. <coughs> And the iron in the bottom, yes. And we get ourselves a retriever. I am going to need at least uh, three retrievers, I believe. So let me see. Is everything on here? No, I'm going to need more nicolite. <coughs> uh, some blue electric wire, sorry. Not wire. I'm ingots. Oh dear, I am completely missing this up. Anyway, the production is uh, slower than predicted. Okay, three retrievers. This is a good first step. And uh, now I have uh, two filters, which is also good. Let me store the, them here with the bookshelves. Let me restore the leather in there with the ender pearls. Okay, so now what, what do we need now? Uh, we're going to need a sorting machine. The sorting machine requires a filter. Yes. Red dope wafers, blue alloy ingots. It's a little cheaper. Because everything else is just iron. However, we are going to need several of these babies. Believe it or not. So we're going to need to craft ourselves more filters. Oh dear, this is the never-ending story. <coughs> so what was the filters recipe with the uh, goals and rest dope wafers? Of course, we waste all of our rest dope wafers right now. 
Uh, oh well, I'll be crafting some more and some res uh, rest power batteries and I will be back with you in a second. Okay, let's craft some batteries, like 29, it's a huge amount but I have the Nikolite to spend. I already crafted myself some extra filters, you see, five of those. And so we now need the bat box, but the one from Red Power 2. This one in here. We already crafted one before. And uh, it's like ODR. Yeah, some wood on top. And the rest is iron, regular iron. Perfect. We are going to need at least, uh, let me think. Let's get four, for example. Should be a good amount. And now we're going to need some of these uh, solar panels in spades. However, we can only craft seven with our current amount of items. So I'm going to return everything to its uh, correct storage and I'll be back with you in a second. And since I'm a little desperate for the bell, I am going to try and research it again. <clears throat> With my meager reserves of beast and earthen crystals. Fragment of lost knowledge. Oh dear. Maybe I am doing something wrong in here. Let me see. If I place a hardened crystal and then a beast crystal... And then this in here, maybe, Thomy Crystallizer, nope, Arcane Focus, nope, nothing to do here anyway. <coughs> the Thomy Crystallizer, while interesting, is not what I was looking for. I will go back to research in a while. Anyway, uh, for now I need to... Yes, I am going to need a lot of uh, wreath alloy wire, which I am going to craft into insulated cables. Now, if I remember right, I stored all my... Yes, wool is in here, string is in here. I need to restart my wax uh, farm. There we go. And so if we place this in here like so, and this in here, we get ourselves some white insulated wire. You can make it with different colors if you tint the wool into different color. But for now, 36 uh, white are more uh, than enough for me. So I am going to place, yes, this chest is backed again. I'm going to place things like this. And I am going to show you something I was working on before. Because this was going to be the main focus of the... Oh. This was going to be the main focus of this episode. Let's uh, turn on this little system in here. And let things start getting... Gatorade. When it uh, burns some stuff. See what I told you? The sun drops to the ground. Anyway, this is a small concept of mine uh, from Steve's minecarts, which uh, consists on an automatic mm, farm that uh, requires no intervention of my of mine. Uh, I made it into in two concentric rows. Under this, there's water. As you can see, there's a, a 4x4 water source. And uh, now we need to craft ourselves some <coughs> stuff that will try and... Well, hi Fola, would you drop something for me? No, nope. sorry. Anyway, uh, I need to craft some stuff, like uh, the, the missing rails, which have to be a special version 1. Uh, this advanced detector rails <coughs> from Steve Minecarts. The item unloader and loader, which I will be making two and place them in here. And here I will place a chest to contain everything. I am going to need to craft some special stuff from Steve's Minecarts, but not just yet. 
Oh, and cinnabar ore has to be cooked. And it seems like we can do that with an electric furnace. Let's see if we are going to get quick silver. Yes, perfect. Okay, we're going to craft uh, that little system. Uh, I believe it requires this to be made, if I remember right. Yes, and we get three on a, on a, on a row. And now we need the other item from Steve's minecarts. Let me see if I can find it. Well, we're going to need a farming set, which you can see it's fairly expensive, which, uh, with four diamonds and these simple PVCs. And we're going to need a solar panel, which is fairly cheap. Um, uh, somewhere should be placed the item I am looking for. Let's try to find it and I will be back with you in a second. There it is, cargo manager. Three chest, six iron ingot. Easy enough. We need two, however, so let's grab ourselves some wood. Let's make ourselves some good amount of chests. Oh dear, I'm going to need uh, more chests. No, I don't have any chest already crafted. Well, we can easily solve that. But uh, I prefer to have three for now. There, 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 and there. And there, two cargo managers. Very well, here we are again. I'm going to craft myself... Yes. Two minecarts. Now, since I'm going to use Steve's minecarts, I had them tracked, by the way, but uh, I got a crash by looking to some achievements. Anyway, we need the minecart with engine. Oh, this must be a bug of some sort. An engine requires a furnace and iron ingots surrounding it. Very well. Very well. Now, this should work like so. Maybe I do have some sort of um, mistake. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, uh, I might have some sort of mistake in here because, yeah. Um, let me check. Uh, okay, minecart used into. Okay, okay. Our cart, the TNT cart. Yeah, those are all from. From Railcraft. That means Steve's minecart is a little booked into my system. The recipe shouldn't be a signal lamp. It not only has changed since the last time at, uh, I looked at it, it also it's ridiculous, frankly. So for the time being, I'm going to change things a little. Going to cra uh, to get myself two minecarts with engines. And to destroy these two two engines and two minecarts. Very well. So now we have cleared that uh, problem. We need to craft ourselves a solar panel requiring redstone, re uh, glowstone, and iron. Should have taken that uh, before, maybe. Where's the glowstone? Here. Redstone here. Yeah, I know I'm a little low. There's actually a lot of redstone inside that uh, condenser. Very well. Oops. There we go. Two solar panels. Perfect. Now, uh, we have an hybrid cart, but we're going to need a farming set, meaning we need three buckets, lots of uh, diamonds, a piece of gold, okay, three pieces of gold, some more redstone, and the like. Golds I do have in here. Can go ahead and craft and get myself the diamonds now that I'm at it. And, uh, yeah, I don't want.
want to stay without uh, diamonds, so I'm going to grab myself some more. Let me get sticks from here. Yeah, as you can see, I do have some redstone in my inventory. There we go. Now we need uh, the gold in there. Was it like this, maybe? Or it was with redstone? It was with redstone, yeah. There we go. Two simple PCBs. Now we need uh, three buckets. Okay. And uh, that's that's it. Perfect. One of these in here. This and this. Nope. Can't uh, directly apply them to here, sadly. Oh well. And, uh, well, I don't need to get those two diamonds, but it's good to, anyway. So, how do we use that? With an hybrid card, which is crafted uh, by just placing the solar panel on top of the minecart with engine. There we go. And there we go. Farming card. Perfect. And... Yeah, we do have a problem. I needed two farming cards. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> okay. It is never easy after all. So there we go, second farming set. Oh dear, did I just memorize for the time being the recipe? Maybe I did. Perfect. So now we get ourselves a healthy amount of uh, seeds. We should need uh, water, but uh, I believe we're good right now. I don't know if uh, we can use flax seeds. Let's check it out. And it's night time. You can see I took the bed down here <coughs> because now this room is uh, wide and high enough. I can I simply ignore the different uh, mobs spawning in here. Okay, let's place the diamonds back in there. And yeah, I am awfully low on resources right now. I should be crafting one of Buildcraft's uh, machines uh, ASAP. Let's be sure we are not... Uh, okay, there's no bad guys around. And you can see I already gathered all the items in here. More, w more trees grow. And we have here some sand, some apples. Because, of course, I completely forgot to connect the... Um, to connect this system together. So let me grab all but one piece of charcoal and let things go up in here. Yeah, see? All the wood uh, gathered before gets uh, placed in here. Yeah, perfect. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go place this to work. So first I am going to Disable. Well, how was the way I disabled this? Let me check for a second. Uh, if I remember this right. Hmm. Okay. Going to remove at least this one for the time being. And then, and I don't know why this it takes so long. And let's place this guy in here. You see, it's already charged. Let's see, can I place flux seeds in here? Nope. Okay. Let's make it work into only solar power. And you can see it's still in the lands slowly, planting seeds and advancing when it can. 
now we can do the same in here there we go and meanwhile we can work with this system in here so you can see this is a cargo loader and unloader from Steve's minecarts <coughs> Okay, perfect. I just bugged system like hell. Uh, do I have some? Yes, I do have some levers. Okay, these advanced circuits will stop the cards from passing by if they are in here and try to do something. Um, cargo managers, sorry. Yes, uh, the attempt of these advanced uh, detector rails is right now to try to make things working here. You can see there are four colors on the sides. Uh, this represents, uh, well, what are you going to do? For example, this only will work with red, and this one will only will work with blue, because right now it's the only place where they are getting connected to, our, uh, to some sort of rail track. So we're going to work with this one in here, red, changing the color. You do it by press, by hitting this uh, this little arrow. You need to turn them all to red or black. Black means you are not using that one. Okay, you can left click to go in one direction and right click to go to go into another direction. Now this is the this other one is the way things will flow. Right now they are going to flow all to the cargo manager from the general slots of the of the minecart. However, I don't want to do that. I can select what items I do want to get, for example wheat and let's say one stack of uh, seats. I'm going to leave this two in black and we're good to go. So now it's time this uh, fella, which should be still working, I don't know why he did he stopped. Oh. I suppose they sometimes do that. No, don't go in that direction, you silly machine. Go in that direction. <clears throat> uh, anyway, I was to, uh, telling you, yes, that each time this uh, system passes through this uh, item detector, it will try to unload all the weight it has in its uh, inside of it, and it will try to unload a stack of uh, seeds. See, it is now working, it doesn't have any weight, and it doesn't have any... If you select correctly, one item, sorry, should be like this, one stack. <clears throat> and since it doesn't have any other one, well, let's, it will try to do it all the time, every time it passes through here. And if we are out of, no, we are not out of seats in here, I don't know why, why did he refuse Okay. Anyway, we're going to need to do the same thing we did with blue color in here. We're going to directly say this black. We don't need it to, to be. And it doesn't matter what you place inside these uh, black boxes. So let's graph ourselves this and this. And from this, we only want one stack. Perfect. Now the system should mostly work uh, alone by itself, farming and recollecting the items. And if I really wanted a fully automated farm, I would need to place here some sort of mechanism to take out the items from both uh, cargo managers inside a chest or a teleporting pipe. I will be doing that in the future when I have enough diamonds to afford teleporting pipes because if we look at the recipe of the teleporting pipe, 
we can see they require two diamond gears for eight uh, item teleporting pipes, which means four diamonds. That means uh, you need uh, one diamond, several, uh, well, at least one diamond, one gold, one uh, iron, one stone, and one wood for from each one. <coughs> Uh, anyway, the only failure I see with this system is that uh, it will try uh, to well unload all the seeds it has. <coughs> uh, and that means, well, it might have some times where all the seeds will be in the cargo manager instead of the carts when they need to plant items. I'm thinking of way of of ways of programming the system to avoid that problem. And okay, we should start this baby in here and this other one in here as soon as everything has been collected from the sides, but oh well. I'll place it to work. You can see the insertion pipe is trying to place the um, saplings first inside here instead of passing them through there if I do this let's see what happens it's now full of other saplings and now it is not accepting any sapling inside it just worked that way and you can see <coughs> uh, despite of uh, what saplings I did has placed inside the machine it is taking all the white colored saplings and plating and planting only one kind of uh, of them while it is uh, strange it it works that way also i am grabbing all the apples which uh, since they don't have any place inside this arboretum they are placed directly into the chest. So now I have a steady supply of wood, but of course these are not the most efficient uh, engines to be using them with. Okay, now that, that I add some fuel to here, you can see it is removing all the sand. Uh, well, it already did that before, didn't it? and uh, replacing it with okay for example replacing it with uh, this humus as well yeah see the small problem is that uh, these two don't have enough power to keep uh, things going on all the time but uh, well I'm leaving them working on backgrounds and I suppose I could use some electrical version of the <coughs> of the uh, of the, the engines which are crafted using tin but uh, for the time being I am I'm comfortable with that now I need to think about my sorting machine and after uh, and after that I will craft my first quarry my first automatic quarry from Billscraft, but of course I am exceedingly low with diamonds. I only have like one, so uh, it's time for a mining expedition ASAP. I, by the way, I also got my hands into some lot of uh, different items by researching like a madman. You can see Arcane Focus, Earth. Uh, error. Okay, and since we are way past uh, the 40 minutes mark, I am going to say, hey, this is the end of episode 12. See you on the next episode, people. Have fun.